I have yet to see maybe one out of 40 labs that come back with omega-3 levels are optimal. It's called omega check. Nobody even checks for it. And the worst part of it, it's not just omega-3, they have too much omega-6. So it's not just omega-3, it's the ratio of omega-3 and 6. So if you have a relatively low omega-3, it's okay if you also have very low omega-6. Because it's the ratio that really matters more than anything else. But these days, we are all toxic with omega-6 because we're all eating vegetable seed oils. And then we eat nuts that have been roasted in vegetable seed oils. And we go out and eat too much, and all they use is vegetable seed oils. And you're paying for it, too. And tipping them on top of it. <laughs> too much omega-6, too little omega-3. Omega-3 is needed especially for one big nerve in the body, and that's your vagus nerve. That's your vagus nerve. You've got to have omega-3. You have to take omega-3 supplements. Now, if you're total vegan and you can't take fish oil, well, where does omega-3 come from, by the way? Oh, it comes from fish. Well, actually, it doesn't even come from fish. It comes from algae. And the algae get eaten by small fish, sardines, all those, and then they get eaten by bigger fish, bigger fish. It eventually gets to you. The farm ones have no omega-3 in it because I don't see algae down there anyway. So you got to be careful about just hoping that you're getting all your omega-3s from fish. Good luck, unless you're really eating only wild-caught salmon every day, and then also you've got to eat a lot of it. But then, you know, that's not my advice. My advice is, look, it's easy. Hack the system. Just go and get omega-3 supplements and make sure that it, is, it doesn't contain PCP or dioxin or mercury. So you get a high-quality fish oil. If it smells bad, it's no good.